this video, I'm going to be sharing my secret weapon that I use in all of my video editing. Welcome back to the channel. My name is CJam and let's get straight into it because I know you guys want to know. The secret weapon that I use in my video editing in Premiere Pro and in After Effects is a plugin, right? And it's called Mr. Horse. And what it is, is it gives me so many resources such as titles, lower thirds, transitions, sound effects, and so much more that make my work a lot easier. Now, this isn't the first time I've spoken about this Mr. Horse plugin. In fact, if you head on over to my YouTube channel and you look for this specific video, I did an entire tutorial with it showing how I brought a PSD Photoshop file into After Effects and I used the Mr. Horse plugin to animate every single element in that Photoshop file. If you haven't seen that tutorial, go ahead and check it out right now. And I also wanted to go ahead and show you guys how it works. But first, let's hop on over to their website real quick and show you all that they have to offer. This video isn't sponsored by Mr. Horse. I've been using it for a long time and I wanted to just share it with you guys. So here we are on Mr. Horse's website. And as you can see, it's all about getting a lot of work done in as little time as possible, right? And what's cool is you can go ahead and try it out for free. Yes, you actually get to use some of their resources for free. Now let me just hover over products right here. And as I mentioned earlier, they have stuff for After Effects and Premiere Pro and I use both of them, right? So let's go down here and see what they have to offer. These are some new cinematic titles that they have on their website. And I mean, just look at these cool title animations. Like they speak for themselves, right? They have motion presets for shapes, text presets, as I mentioned earlier, right? I'll show you some more in detail as we move along. And even in my own YouTube videos, you may have seen me use some stuff, some transitions and sound effects like the clicking sound of the keyboard, the clicking sound of the mouse, the swoosh transition that you saw at the beginning of this video, right? The zoom ins the zoom out, but you may have not known that I use Mr. Horse. So that's what I've been using in all my YouTube videos that you've been watching here on the channel. They also have typography. I've used these in my videos as well to like show the shortcuts for when I'm making Photoshop tutorials or Premiere Pro tutorials, when I wanna pop up the shortcuts on screen to say, hey, Control and S to save, I use Mr. Horse to pop that up on the screen so i actually use it more often than i've spoken about and i can't possibly show you everything in this one video because they have so so many resources for you guys so many and just look at these animated fonts here look at how cool these are i mean come on look at how this is animating on and off screen it speaks for itself and this can be a cool title sequence for your youtube video if you're making a music video there are endless possibilities right now let's hop on over into premiere pro and i'll show you exactly what you can do with the free starter pack so to install this, you install the file that you obviously get from the website, you'll get it in your email. And to activate this Premiere Composer tab right here in Premiere Pro, you just come to Window and then you look for it in Extensions and you just go Premiere Composer, right? And it will pop up and you can place it wherever you want. And then all you have to do is hit the starter pack if that's the one you got for free. So let's go starter pack and then let's just do text presets, right? And you can see already options that you have here like come on how cool is this right if you go text presets and expand that box you'll see all the options that you have if you were to click this one here right you have so much options here and remember this is all in the free version right all inside the free version right here in mr horse all you have to do when you find one that you like is you just click and drag it in like so just keep existing settings and then or I could have just clicked it and just click add and it will have added it to my uh, sequence and you'll see you have it right here and then you'll get your controls you can control your all properties of every element in this preset this title animation so you can go text you'll see the text here it obviously says mr. horse right you can change the font to something like Gotham, I mean, who doesn't love Gotham, right? Gotham black. You can come down to color and change the color, right? You can change the color to something cool, like 
I don't know, just a random color to show you what you're able to do, right? You can also adjust the animation speed, you know, the animation speed of the in and the out. If you want it to come in slower than it goes out, you can do that. You can add a color stroke to the text. Let's change the color so you see it a little bit more. And then you notice that there's a stroke there. Let's do three. Let me just zoom this in, right? And if I were to go ahead, go to the beginning and press space bar to play, how cool is that? And this is just the tip of the iceberg with what you're able to do with the Mr. Horse plugin inside of Premiere Pro. And if you like what you're seeing so far, all you have to do is come up here to this buy no button and you'll get three options. Obviously, this is the free version that I mentioned earlier where you get over a thousand assets for free. All you have to do is create an account and then you can subscribe annually or go month to month where you get over 6,000 assets. Like insanity, insanity. I've had it so long and I've not, you, there's no possible way for me to use everything that I have in this pack. So come down a bit further here, you'll see what is included with the free plans versus the paid plan, right? So here's the entire list. You'll see what you get with free. You get Animation Composer, Premiere Composer, right? Animation Composer is for After Effects. Premiere Composer is for Premiere Pro. So you get both of them for free, right? To immediately level up your projects with these awesome packs and resources for free, right? And if you go paid, like, it just gets crazy. Like, you have everything, like, everything, right? And if you want to take the leap and level up your video production with transitions, sound effects, title packs, whatever it is that you saw here on Mr. Horse's website, go ahead and click that first link in this video description to do that right. Now, let me know what you think. I'm excited to hear from you all and I'll catch you guys in the next one.